Hey guys, welcome back to Tech Love by Chandan Snoria and today I'm going to show you how to root Samsung's Android devices and I'm talking about the Galaxy devices that are too easy to um, uh, you don't have to do much of anything and in this tutorial I will show you how to get the TWRP custom recovery and the and to root your device and it is really easy so it will work on many devices from the galaxy series and this method will work for almost all devices running the android version lollipop and greater so the android version 5 and greater than that so it is really that simple and anyone can do it so let's get into it so first of all i have the galaxy s6 edge over here so i'm going to show you how to do that so and first of all what you're going to do in your device is you're going to go in settings and you're going to go in about device and you're going to go in software information and you're going to tap on the build number till it says developer mode has already been turned on and you're going to go back and back and you're going to go in developers options and you're going to enable the usb debugging and if your device has the oem unlocking option over here is go ahead and enable that as well so let's move on to the pc now so first of all what you're gonna do in your pc is you're gonna open your browser and you're gonna download the odin so the link to the odin will be down in the description you can just download the head and it will work on all the devices and the next step would be to download the twrp custom recovery and to do that just uh, search for twrp and the google page will open up and you can select on the twrp team win over here twrp.me and you're gonna go in devices over here and you're gonna just search for your device so i'm gonna search for the galaxy s6 edge and i'm gonna select this i'm gonna open it and if you have any other device like uh, my friend was trying to root the new j7 i think it's called the j7 prime or something and some of the devices may not be listed over here like uh, I have searched for J7 and I'm not getting the J7 Prime or whatever the name of the device is. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna just search for TWRP J7 I mean your device name and you will get that. So I'm just gonna open this over here so you will get many of these files on the XGA developer site as well. So open the xga developer site you will find twrp for your devices over there and you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna have the download link over here so you can download the the file for your device if it is not on the twrp site and if the file for your device is on the twrp.me then you're gonna scroll down and you're gonna select your download links so i'm gonna go with the international one which should be right over here somewhere so you have the international one over here so i'm gonna download it and be sure to download the tar file and the next thing you're gonna download is the magisk so open up another tab and search for magisk xda and you will get this xda magisk over here and you're gonna go over here the magisk 13.3 root universal systemless interface and you're gonna click on it and you're gonna go down and you're gonna download the latest magic zip file and go ahead and download that and I have already put that zip file in my device and we're gonna just turn it off and when the device has been turned off you're just gonna press volume down key home key and power key at the same time and now you're gonna press volume up key to continue so now you're gonna connect your device to the your uh, PC or laptop whatever it is so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna extract out your Odin and you're gonna right click over it and you're gonna run it as administrator and you're gonna click on AP now and you're gonna search for the file that we have just downloaded so I'm just gonna select the file over here so you're gonna start the process and if uh, after flashing the custom recovery it does not boot into the custom recovery so what you're gonna do is you're gonna press the option key over here so i'm gonna show you the second method that i'm talking about if you don't get the custom recovery so what you're gonna do is you're gonna unselect the auto reboot and you're gonna start the process 
so if you get uh, the custom recovery by not unchecking the auto reboot that is just great for you but that is not the case for uh, for all the people so that is a thing i had unchecked the auto reboot so now what you're gonna do is you're gonna press volume down key and home key at the same time and as soon as the device goes black you're gonna press volume up key home key and power key at the same time and the device will boot into the TWRP custom recovery and what you're gonna do is you're gonna go and install and you're gonna select the Majest version 13.3 and you're gonna swipe to confirm flash and now you're gonna reboot the system so your device booted into the ROM now the stock ROM that comes from the Samsung and as you can see I have already downloaded the root checker basic and we're gonna go into it and we're gonna verify the root we're gonna grant the permissions and it shows that the root access is properly installed on this device so it was that easy to get your device rooted and have the custom recovery and it was a bit complex where we had to uh, go into options and uncheck the auto reboot but try that once with not unchecking the auto reboot and if your device goes into the custom recovery the uh, device is fine and just flash the magic and if it doesn't go in the custom recovery you're gonna go and flash that again and uncheck the auto reboot and do the process that i did on this device so it would be that easy don't worry about it so i think that's it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up and if you're new here please subscribe to the channel and don't forget to share the video and thanks for watching guys